සුභව සෞන්දර්යයේ ගීතයේ තනුව බිඳකදු වෙනස් නොකොට රහසේ ඉඳෙවුණු දෙව්ලොවක් බඳු පාගුඩ නිවස නුගේ ගොඩට තදාසන්නව ඉදි කර තිබෙනවා මේ භූමියේ තිබෙන අභියෝග සාර්ථකව ජය ගනිමින් හොඳින් ආලෝකය ලැබෙන පරිදි හොඳින් ඉඩකඩ ඇති පරිදි මෙන්ම සුභදාමේ හරිත බවත් මුසු කර ගනිමින් කළ මේ අපූරු නිර්මාණය ගැන දැනගන්න අපි සුප්‍රසිද්ධ ගෘහ නිර්මාණ ශිල්පී චින්තක වික්‍රමගේ සමග කතා කළා. Yeah, uh, the design brief was to uh, uh, design a four bedroom house in a uh, small plot of land in a trapezium shape uh, small plot of land in uh, Pagoda and Begoda uh, for the couple who reluctantly moved uh, closer to Colombo. for the best possible education facilities for their children the uh, biggest design challenge was actually to design a four bedroom house in a very small trapezium shaped uh, plot of land and the site was also a sloping site where there are there were two levels so we had to uh, engage a, a split level so that the one bedroom will be about mid level of uh, about half a story high and the uh, living dining area in a lower level and um, we engaged a single mono pitched uh, sloping roof so that all the uh, volumes of the house are within that one single tent like mono pitched roof the inspiration uh, for the house was uh, 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 the incompleteness and shock contrast we wanted to create a, a building a house of cement bricks with glass aluminum frames timber skeletal skeletal roof framework uh, so that uh, there, there's a shock contrast between the uh, textural quality of the cement brick and the crispness of glass and aluminum frames Uh, the house was built as a uh, um, kind of a structure with un- uh, unrefined unfinished incomplete look uh, so the contrast between each material uh, will uh, add to the texture quality of the house upper floor timber deck was used to soften the uh, c- cement uh, the rigidness and roughness of the cement brick envelope of the house the house has a front garden and a rear garden so the there were a lot of uh, openings were used uh, to induce cross ventilation between these two gardens and uh, also the thin section of the house facilitated uh, cross ventilation the clients uh, were uh, they were Uh, staying uh, in the outstations of uh, Kalam where they were uh, like mainly living in very rural areas and they uh, kind of uh, uh, wanted to have a lot of greenery around their house and uh, also to induce urban wildlife into the house such as squirrels uh, birds so we um, root ball replanted uh, fruit bearing small fruit bearing uh, trees such as dam madam uh, uh, trees like those first room of the house was considered the front garden and it was a uh, root ball replanted with several uh, tropical mature trees beyond that again another uh, rear garden was created with root ball replanted mature trees this is the kind of a, as a residential project i i have used uh, clay bricks and for this project i uh, selected to use uh, cement bricks uh, as a material uh, unique material uh, where i have used previously in uh, vocational schools as well but this is like a experiment uh, for me to do a, a house in cement bricks and the use of materials and their uh, and the contrast between each material was um, i think uh, Uh, carried out to a certain extent in the project. Uh, 